Why do I show transponder fail? If we don't have a transponder, they're not going to let us go out IFR. No. Well. Here's again. three golf papa. Advise when run up complete. Three golf papa. We'll uh, stay here and let you know when our run up's complete. And uh, we're going to cycle our power off and then on. We've got an uh, error message that popped up on our avionics. We'll be back with you in a second. Here's three golf papa. Roger. Let's see what happens. Same thing. So our transponder's out. It doesn't affect our ability to navigate, but it impacts ATC's ability to see us. ATC uses two types of radar, primary and secondary. And both of the systems are old, like World War II old. And the naming's kind of backwards. Secondary radar, officially known as the Air Traffic Control Radar Beacon System, started out as identification friend or foe, IFF, in World War II. German aircraft would infiltrate returning British bomber formations. and IFF, it helped identify a returning friendly. The British called the system the Parrot, and since it would blind the early primary radar systems, radio operators told crews to squawk your Parrot when they wanted transponders switched on, and strangle your Parrot when they wanted transponders switched off. That's where the term squawk started. Not too much has changed. The system started out with two numbers ranging from 0 to 7. And at 837, reply code 21 and contact Chicago Center 132.85 now. Roger, United 837, reply code 21 and now changing to 132.85. And today's system uses four numbers, still ranging from 0 to 7. And Mode C added altitude information to the mix, so ATC can see your position and your altitude. Under next gen, ADSB supplements your transponder with GPS data to improve accuracy. Primary radar, that bounces higher energy radio pulses off your aircraft, displaying those returns on the scope. It's what most people think of when they hear the term radar, and it only provides a 2D picture. Primary radar can plot your position, but it can't see your altitude. Aircraft without a transponder only have a primary return, but ATC can still tag that return with your call sign and your reported altitude, which means ATC can still see us even with our transponder out, except... One two zero point three five over forty five zero. Echo one six five three Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility one zero. Ceiling seven thousand five hundred. Overcast. Temperature minus one three. Dew point minus one eight. Altimeter three zero two five. Notice to airmen, pass and primary radar not available. Radar traffic advisory since service available for transponder equipment aircraft only. Weather radar not available. I advise on initial contact. You have echo. So that's the problem. We don't have a transponder and Aspen doesn't have primary radar. They can't see us depart, and we'll need to climb out under IFR, in the clouds, through the mountains. Lucky for us, we can fly with inoperative equipment. We just need to follow the regs. FAR 91.213 lays out the requirements. If you're getting ready for an FAA checkride, learn it. It's a required task for most ratings. The reg's actually fairly simple, but one of its limitations, the equipment can't be required by other regs. And in our case, the FARs do require a transponder. That's FAR 91-215. It requires an altitude reporting transponder above 10,000 feet MSL, inside Class B airspace, and within 30 nautical miles of Denver International. So that's pretty much the entire flight to Centennial. But if you read a little further, it says that if our transponder is inoperative, we can request permission from ATC to fly. So that's the plan. Ask ATC. On our way out, we'll fly through Aspen Tower and then Departures Airspace. They'll hand us off to Denver Center and then on to Denver Approach and finally to Centennial Tower. And so we start with Denver Center and work our way home. Our last call is to Aspen. That's a tough one. All of the other facilities can see our primary radar return, but Aspen, they won't be able to see us at all because their radar is out. And that means that once we take off, they have to keep other aircraft out of our way and off the approach until we're clear of their approach area. Everyone else inbound to Aspen, they'll have to wait. And we get their permission. They have three inbound IFR aircraft, and they ask us to start taxing at 2050 Zulu. That puts us in a brief traffic-free window. There's another part to FAR 91 
before we can fly with inoperative equipment, we have to make sure it can be done safely. And a broken transponder doesn't really affect our ability to fly or navigate, but we can ask Aspen Departure for help if we get off course. They won't be able to see us. The mountains around Aspen reach above 14,000 feet MSL. And the weather? Aspen Tower Information Hotel, 1953 Zulu, wind 340 at 3, visibility 10, ceiling 6,000 overcast, temperature minus 10, dew point minus 16, altimeter 3018. Aspen sits at 7,838 feet above sea level. We'll be above most of the mountains by the time we enter the clouds, but not all of them. ATC can't see us, and we can't see the mountains. After talking about it, Colin and I decide we can manage the risk. We'll climb a little faster than 1,000 feet a minute, so clearing the mountains really won't be a problem. And we have redundant alternators and navigation systems. We're comfortable, so we file and we get ready to go. Aspen Clearance, Sierra 773 Golf Papa, IFR to Denver Centennial. November 773 Golf Papa, Aspen Clearance. I have a full route clearance for you. I advise when ready to copy. 773 Golf Papa, ready to copy. November 3 Golf Papa, cleared to Centennial Airport via the Lens 8 departure to the Red Table Transition to join Victor 108 AC Bravo Alpha Sierra Echo Echo for the Powder 8 arrival, Papa Oscar Whiskey Delta Romeo 8. Climb via SID, expect 17,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency, 123.8. Okay, Cirrus 773 Golf Papa is cleared to Centennial via the Lens 8 departure, red table transition, joint Victor 108, uh, Basie, Bravo Alpha, Sierra Echo Echo, then via the Powder 8 arrival, climb via the SID, expect 17,000, one zero minutes after departure, departure 123.8. Here's three golf papa, read back correct. Look at that, right on time. <laughs> yeah, 2015, 17 seconds. We're impressed that we're out on time, and during run-up, nothing else fails. We're ready to go. Jet Niner Julius Sierra, turn left enable, join Alpha, contact Ground Point Niner. All right, left turn one able, and Ground Point Niner, Niner Julius Sierra. Okay, 180.5. Aspen Tower, Sirius uh, 773, Golf Papa, so with you holding short 33. Sirius 773, Golf Papa, Aspen Tower, runway 33, clear for takeoff, wind calm. Clear for takeoff, runway 33, 773, Golf Papa. Peter Heat on, ice is on. Power's good. Speed's alive. Fifty six. Seventy five. Five cent. Flaps. Traffic. Cheers. Three golf pop. Report leaving one zero thousand following the lens eight. Or report leaving one zero thousand on lens eight. Three golf pop. Okay, so okay, three four three four three. Yas. One hundred on course. What's our next altitude? Yep. Okay, hundred go. Nine thousand one hundred. Okay. And they want us to report one zero thousand. Leaving one zero thousand. And turn intercept. We got a good climb, so I can bring the power back. Okay. Aspen Tower, Sirius uh, 3 Golf Papa, leaving 10,000 for 16,000. Sirius 3 Golf Papa, Roger, contact departure, safe flight. Departure, thanks, Sirius 3 Golf Papa. 123.8, good. That's good. And Aspen 
departure, Sierra 773 Golf Papa climbing via the Lens 8 for 16,000. November 773 Golf Papa, Aspen departure, report Lens intersection. We'll report Lens 773 Golf Papa, thanks for getting us out today. No problem. Everything's going as planned. Aspen departure can't see us, so we're reporting altitudes and fixes as we cross. And Aspen's using those reported altitudes to make sure we clear terrain as they turn us on course. November 3 Golf Papa, say altitude. 3 Golf Papa, leaving 13,400 for 16,000. November 3 Golf Papa, Roger, proceed direct red table VOR, cross red table VOR at or above 14,000. Direct red table, we'll cross red table at or above 14,000. 3 Golf Papa. Direct red table and direct red table. Charlie Golf, Bravo Tango Sierra, report established in the hold. We will call established in the hold, Bravo Tango Sierra. Okay, that's 14. Ben. November 3 Golf Papa, report leveling 17,000. 3 Golf Papa will report leveling 17,000. Wings are staying clean. See the ground. November 3, Golf Papa, traffic holding over red table, TBM, flight level 180. 3, Golf Papa, thank you. So our no transponder issue is a pain for us and for a couple other people. But even in a climb, the Cirrus is pretty fast. Our 175 knot ground speed gets us into center's airspace in a few minutes and out of Aspen traffic's way. And Aspen departure, Cirrus 3, Golf Papa, leveling 17,000, and we're crossing red table now. Sears 3 Golf Papa, Roger, thank you. Sears 3 Golf Papa, report five miles from JNET. 3 Golf Papa, report five from JNET. And Aspen departure, Sears 3 uh, Golf Papa, five from JNET. Sears so 3 Golf Papa, Roger, thank you. Sears 3 Golf Papa, contact Denver Center, 119.85, 1985, safe flight. Three go pop over center 119.85. Thanks for the help today. We appreciate it. Not a problem. Anytime. 119.85. Ready? Looks good to me. Okay. Denver Center, Sirius 773 Golf Papa, 17,000 over JNUT. 773 Golf Papa, Denver Center, Roger. The San Antonio altimeter 3023. 3023, 773 Golf Papa. Thank you. And that's what you'd expect. We bounce in and out of radar contact with center assigning position reports so that they know where we are. Really no harder than flying with the transponder than just a little more radio work. As we cross Basie, we join the Powder 8 arrival. Our 773 Golf Papa, say your position from Powder intersection. Uh, 773 Golf Papa, we are one mile from Skeed. Stand by, uh, we are 11 miles from Powder. 773 Golf Papa, you're at a contact again. Position reported cross powder intersection at and maintain 15000. Report reaching 15000. Okay, cross powder at and maintain 15000 and uh, report reaching 15000. 773 Golf Papa. Notice to Airman. November 773 Golf Papa, your radar service is terminated. Contact Denver Approach 120.35. They're going to re radar identify you and just report 15000 with them, please. Okay, 120.35, and uh, we'll report 15,000 with them. 773 Golf Papa, thanks for the help today. Denver Approach, Sierra 773 Golf Papa, leaving 16,100 for 15,000, uh, crossing Colas. 773 Golf Papa, Denver Approach, report level 15,000, report powder, and Oscar's current at Centennial, expect runway 17 left. Okay, we'll report level 15,000. We'll report powder 773 Golf Papa. Continual airport information Oscar 2053 Zulu weather. Wind 030 at 5. Visibility 10. 073 Golf Papa, depart powder heading 070. Back to the final approach course. 070 after powder 0773 Golf Papa. 0773 Golf Papa, actually make heading 060 after powder. 060 773 Golf Papa. Timber Approach, Frontier Flight 701, 228, descending via the Bus 2 Level Information Hotel. Frontier 701, Approach, runway 35, right, good afternoon. 
7-7-3, Golf Papa, we just leveled 1-5,000. We're crossing powder, turning to 0 6 0 3 Golf Papa, thank you. <laughs> I keep trying to get one eight inch dry snow over compacted snow. All aprons, one eight inch dry snow, breaking action good to medium. Hazardous weather information for Colorado, available from flight service. See if our departure device is directed Golf to Papa, flight radar and... contact lost and uh, maintain 1-4,000, reportedly uh, reaching 1-4,000. Or report one four thousand seven seven three go Papa. As we fly in, it's a series of step downs and altitude reports, and in less than five minutes, we're set up for the visual. Number three go Papa, descend and maintain eight thousand. Report reaching eight thousand, please. Descend and maintain eight thousand. Report eight thousand. We have the field. Sight three go Papa. Next to thirty three Papa, turn right, heading one seven zero. Join Victor three eighty nine. One seven zero. Join Victor three eighty nine. Lake Sierra thirty three Papa. Three Golf Papa, cleared visual approach, runway 17 left. Cleared visual approach, 17 left, Three Golf Papa. For Three Golf Papa, stay out, two leaving now. Uh, we're leaving 8,600, Three Golf Papa. Golf Papa, thank you. Kind of continual tower, 118.9, see ya. 118.9, thanks for the help today, appreciate it, uh, Three Golf Papa. I know, Papa, later. 118.9, alright. Neil Tower, Sierra 77, Trigo, Golf Papa on the visual, 17 left. Sierra 3 Golf Papa, runway 17 left, clear to land, a wind calm, traffic heading to your right, right base for the parallel Cessna. Clear to land, 17 left, we're looking for that Cessna. And Sierra 3 Golf Papa, additional traffic heading to your left, so helicopter landing on the ramp. Okay, we're launching on the ramp, 2-3 Golf Papa. The transponder problem was more work for ATC than it was for us. But other than some position reports, nothing was that different. Stuff breaks, especially when you add more technology. But working through the regs to get in and out legally isn't that hard. In fact, it's a routine part of flying. And it's better than saying that the transponder broke in flight. <laughs>